According to the old saying, there is a new human born every minute. Which probably means there's a new animal born every second, but some animals are incredibly rare. So rare there may never be another like it. Those are the animals we're exploring in today's video. From a two-legged dog to a four-legged duck. Let's meet the 15 animals that are born only once in a thousand years. <sighs> Number 15. Two-legged dog. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Faith. Faith is a bipedal dog born with three legs, one of which sadly had to be amputated when it began to atrophy. How many two-legged dogs have you ever seen? Now it's at least one. When Jude Stringfellow first adopted Faith, she was surprised by how many people seemed determined to get rid of the pup. Just about every medical expert she spoke to believed that the dog had to be euthanized. But Jude was determined to make this thing work in a way that didn't end with the unnecessary death of the dog. So with the help of a spoon and some peanut butter, Jude taught Faith how to hop and eventually how to walk. On two legs, like a human. Given Faith's unfortunate situation, you have to admire that kind of creative ingenuity, right? In 2006, Faith was given a non-commission rank of E5 sergeant and was known to be popular among military personnel all over the world. She visited 2,300 wounded warriors in hospitals all over and was seen by over 2 million active soldiers. And she got excited to meet just about every single one of them. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. It's time for the rare topic. Actually, today's video would probably be called the weird topic because this photo has been making the rounds on the internet and we have no idea what the heck it is. Apparently, this creature was found in South America, but no experts have come up with a name for it. So we're just gonna call it the weird baby rat thing. That fits, right? At least we know there's only going to be one of these things, we hope. Do you think this is real or is this some nice Nightmare fuel concocted through the magic of the internet. Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion about what we just saw. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Four legged duck. Would you rather take a single four-legged duck or 400 two-legged ducks? I know it doesn't make any sense, but in my defense, you didn't know the four-legged duck was a thing until exactly this moment. So in a way, it makes total sense. In 2007, Stumpy the Duck was born in the New Forest, New Hampshire with four legs. Sneakily tucked behind his normal pair of legs was a hidden second pair. Think of all the things you could do with an extra pair of legs. You could wear more shoes? Okay, so extra legs aren't really all that useful, which will make this next part a little easier to take. The same year he was born, he lost one of his extra legs when he caught it on a fence. The next year, his other extra leg fell off. Now with only two legs, he lived the rest of his life like any other normal duck. Experts generally believe that Stumpy's unusual condition was caused by a rare mutation. I'm no expert in the world of duck biology, but I think I could probably have told you that. Doesn't take a genius to realize that this isn't your everyday duck. Number 13. Two-Headed Snake the general consensus has always said that you should be on guard and never trust a snake. But what happens when the snake is not just a snake, but also two-faced? Literally two-faced, I mean. Well, in that case, you have to really pay attention. A Florida family happened to find the bizarre reptile in Palm Harbor, and naturally, they had no idea what the heck to make of it. Both of the snake's heads can flick their tongues and each reacts to movement in their own unique way. Snake 
Medic experts have clarified that the mysterious dual head condition is likely the result of two twins failing to separate during embryo development. So you end up with a unique and slightly bizarre looking snake. But don't go thinking that two heads make them unstoppable. Actually, it seems to be quite the opposite. Apparently, having two heads is quite unhelpful when it comes to getting stuff done. The two brains tend to conflict with one another, often pursuing wildly different approaches to problems that make it impossible to escape from predators. So in summary, this is indeed a rare two-headed snake, but it's highly unlikely to be around for long. I guess it's better to have one brain cell than two brains. Number 12. Glow in the Dark Cat Technically, there have been no naturally occurring glow-in-the-dark cats in our natural world. But hey, every cat was born at some point or another, right? So it counts. Eh, who cares? Somebody will be correcting this in the comments section anyway. In 2011, scientists inserted a gene into cats that produces a fluorescent protein called GFP. The idea for the experiment was to insert a gene that would help to resist the feline form of AIDS, but they also decided to take it one step further, inserting a second gene into the cats. This gene, which is naturally produced in jellyfish, has a fluorescent element to it, which, you guessed it, makes the cats glow in the dark. With the tiniest tweak to their genetic makeup, these cats are able to become living nightlights. Who could have seen it coming? Obviously, we have no real purpose for having glow-in-the-dark cats unless you have a cat who has a tendency to run away. In that case, this might be a pretty great way of keeping track. You'll always know where the cat is because you'll see the surrounding area lit up green. It's like Tom and Jerry, but, you know, with a little Matrix flavoring. Number 11. Octogoat if you didn't know what Octagoat was, you could be forgiven for thinking that it was some kind of kid show. But no, it's a real animal, and just as bizarre as it sounds. The Octagoat is exactly what you think it's going to be, a goat with eight legs. Sometimes it's the simple ideas that are the best, right? In 2014, one Croatian farmer was baffled to find that his newborn goat had eight legs. But the story gets a little crazier than that, if you can believe it, because it turns out that not only did this goat have multiple extra legs, it also had both male and female reproductive organs. According to local vets, the newborn goat's unusual bodily condition was the result of an underdeveloped twin. So the goat just kind of adopted his unborn sibling's body parts. As we've established time and time again on this channel, Mother Nature seems to have a way of just doing weird stuff for the hell of it. And the Octagoat is certainly one of the weirder creations on the planet. It doesn't have its own cartoon show just yet, but believe me, I'm working on it. Number 10. Snake with Legs I know it sounds impossible. Just trust me though, it's very much possible. Sure, the snake is never going to be able to walk the runway like some kind of supermodel, but it's better than nothing. David Martill was walking his university students around the Burgermeister Mueller Museum in Solenhofen, Germany, when he happened to spot something weird. Among one of the fossils, he spotted a little specimen of a snake with that long body packed with ribs but this snake was stuck in an unusual kind of rock, bearing the distinctive characteristic stylings of the Brazilian Credo Formation. Martel was confused because apparently snakes had never been found in that location, and certainly never that early. Then he noticed the legs, a pair of hind legs, and a pair of tiny front legs. Beneath the display read a sign, Unknown Fossil. Experts throughout history have been able to find a lot of now extinct snakes, but none of them ever had four legs. This was and is, according to Martil, a groundbreaking once-in-a-lifetime discovery. Well, at least he had a solid set of legs to stand on, right? Number 9. Human-Faced Goat Is there anything creepier on this planet than animals with human faces? Eh, probably not. But even in these weird, weird conditions, people can find some good. This human-faced goat, for instance, was lucky enough to be born in India. Lucky why? Because he's worshipped like a god. This unusual goat was born in Celtapeta village in Gujarat, 
and immediately made a splash on the internet. The goat was born with typical goat-like features, four legs, goat ears, but then the rest of its body looked unusually human. Its forehead, eyes, mouth, and even some parts of its beard were distinctly human-like. It didn't even have a tail. Sadly, this human goat didn't last too long. In fact, it only lived for 10 minutes. But boy, were those 10 minutes worthwhile. Not many living creatures can make such a legacy with 10 minutes of life. In fact, this goat had a legacy bigger than itself. The local Indian people worshipped this goat as if it were a god. After all, how many human-like goats have you ever seen? I'm guessing it's less than 12. Number 8. Cyclops Goat India may be one place on Earth where goats can become something distinctly more interesting than bearded animals. This goat may not be celebrated like a god, but it's no less interesting than any other mutant goat. Come to think of it, it's only a matter of time before we get a goat-based X-Men. This baby goat beat all expectations when it was born with a single, enormous eye in the center of its face, and survived. Okay, so it didn't survive for very long, dying just eight days later later, but that's eight days more than anybody could have expected given the circumstances. The goat was born in a village in Assam, India, and suffered from a condition called cyclopia. Cyclopia is caused when the developing brain fails to separate into two hemispheres, so the skull just forms a single eye socket. The condition can occur in just about any living creature, and usually comes with side effects. In the case of this goat, other physical deformities were also present, including missing eyelashes, eyelids, one ear and several teeth, and an underdeveloped nose and shortened jaw. But hey, nobody's perfect. Number 7. The Crooked Neck Giraffe Giraffes are kind of defined by their incredibly long straight neck, but not all giraffes are born alike. Meet Jemina, a 12-foot tall Berengo giraffe known for her unique deformity, a neck that was anything but straight. When Jemina was first born in the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Animal Park, this deformity wasn't present, and she was moved to the Santa Barbara Zoo at the age of one. Everything was fine for a couple of years, then at the end of three, her unique condition began to show itself, with her neck vertebrae unusually jutting itself out from her neck. X-rays of her neck showed an almost 90-degree bend between her C3 and C4 vertebrae, but scientists, zoologists, and vets couldn't figure out why this was the case. There was no sign of accident, injury, or any other apparent reason for such a distinct bend. Jemina is one of the few animals on her list that actually had a long and healthy life. She lived for 22 years and became a popular animal at the zoo. Because who wouldn't want to see a giraffe with a right angle of a neck, right? You never saw this in the cartoons. Number 6. Two-Faced Cat in their own way, all cats are two-faced. I mean, they love pretending they don't really care about you, but have you ever seen a cat with two literal faces? No? Well, today's your lucky day, my friends. Meet Frank and Louie, the famous record-breaking two-faced cat. Frank and Louie was a Janus cat, a cat with two faces. The condition is extremely rare, and it's also highly unlikely that any Janus cat will live for very long due to the health problems they face. For Frank and Louie, Louie, however, they broke all the records, some against all the odds. Frank and Louie managed to survive for an unbelievable 15 years, even landing themselves in the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest-lived Janus cat. And they somehow managed to avoid the typical health issues that come with this condition. Nobody really knows what causes Janus cats, but it's obviously something genetic. Only extensive DNA testing could truly get to the bottom of the condition, but their unfortunately short lifespans make it very difficult. Scientists will just have to work quicker to get to the bottom of this thing. Number 5. Pink Grasshopper 
When we think of grasshoppers, we think of little green bugs who seem incapable of staying still. But not all of them are green. Some of them are a pretty striking shade of pink, or at least this one is. When Allison Barger's son, Brooks, found this unique-looking grasshopper, he spent quite a lot of time telling the little guy just how cute it was. But it wasn't until Allison googled the creature that she realized just how rare it was. You see, pink grasshoppers result from a genetic mutation known as erythrism, which is known to affect the recessive gene, similar to that which causes albinism. Entomologists all over the world believe that pink grasshoppers are pink because of a recessive genetic trait, but some experts continue to believe that this was, at one time, a dominant trait that all grasshoppers had. Evolution just managed to eradicate it because the pink made them more visible to predators. Whichever theory you believe, it doesn't make it any less fascinating. Pink grasshoppers are super rare, and the likelihood of you seeing one in the wild is pretty low, unless you happen to have a very observant three-year-old. Number four, Giant Wetaponga. My friends, it's time for you to meet a whole new creature. Will you think it's cute, or will you be repulsed? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be one or the other, and probably not both. This is the Wetaponga, also known as the Little Barrier Island Giant Weta. This unusual animal is endemic to New Zealand and is recognized as the largest species of weta in the country, with one specimen reportedly weighing 2.5 ounces, or 71 grams. In total, there are 11 species of weta, 10 of which are protected by law because they are at risk of extinction. That's mostly because mammalian pests tend to feed on them, leading to their near extinction. So your chances of finding one of these in the wild is really a gamble, unless you happen to find yourself on a New Zealand offshore island, in which case your chances are slightly better than zero. If you're someone who finds the Wetapanga pretty horrific looking, eh, don't worry. They're not particularly social animals, so they'll keep their distance from you, unless you seem particularly charming, but even then, they have their own things going on. They probably don't care too much about whatever you're doing. Number three, Leucistic White Alligator. What? You thought all gators were that swampy green? Please? Gators can come in all kinds of colors, and the leucistic white alligator has been described as everything from breathtaking to ghostly and ethereal and even beautiful. Now, I'm not sure I would ever use the word beautiful to describe a gator, but whatever you want to do. The leucistic white alligator suffers from a condition known as leucism, which is actually not the same as albinism. Albinism results in pink eyes and a total lack of pigmentation, whereas leucism gives deep blue eyes with a hint of pigmentation. The point is, it's an alligator with translucent white skin and blue eyes. If it had some abs, there would be magazines and fashion companies lining up to get them promoting something or other. You know they'd try. Sadly, there aren't many of these beautiful animals in the world, and for one very clear reason. The beauty of being a green gator is that you can hide, but when you're translucent white, well, it ain't that easy. So most leucistic white alligators tend to die pretty fast, but the ones that don't? Look out for them in a future Abercrombie and Fitch campaign. Number two, two-headed pig. Two heads, two snouts, three eyes. Yeah, it's the mythical double pig. Well, two-headed pig, but that's kind of the same thing when you really stop to think about it. Her name is Mara Clara, and she is a little miracle piggy. Mara Clara was the last in a litter of eight to be delivered on a farm in a remote village in the Philippines, but she was by far the most intriguing. Her owner, Adelita Delipe, has described the piglet as lucky for being born in such a unique and rare way, and being so healthy given the circumstances, because she really is a perfectly healthy healthy baby piglet. Both of her snouts function perfectly, and both heads can suckle on her mother's teat. There's truly nothing wrong with the pig, beyond the condition of polycephaly, which is the medical name for such a condition. According to one vet, animals with polycephaly rarely last long, typically one lasting a matter of weeks. While we don't know if Mara Clara survived, she clearly had a pretty great life after she was born. Forget what I said earlier, maybe two heads are better than one. Nah, actually I was right the first time. One head is actually bad enough. Number one, double muscled whippet. 
It's time to meet the pup, the legend, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of dogs. And by that, I don't mean that it was a movie star turned politician. Although dog politicians would be interesting. No, Wendy the Whippet is basically just a very, very muscular dog, and all natural too. Wendy the Whippet first made headlines in 2007 when the world discovered a dog could be 60 pounds of pure muscle. Thanks to a rare genetic mutation, Wendy was born with what's known as double muscling, a condition that makes animals distinctly more muscular. She was the same height as a whippet, but twice the weight. In fact, the muscles around her neck were so thick that you could mistake it for the ruff of a lion. Again, this is all natural. There are athletes and movie stars watching this with pure envy in their eyes. Before she passed on, Wendy the Whippet took part in a US genetic study on mutation in whippets to try and figure out how this genetic anomaly allowed her to become quite so ripped. And while we have no idea how that study turned out, I'm guessing it was beefy. Uh, see what I did there? Because Wendy is all muscular. Alright, I take your point. What's the rarest or most unusual animal you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.